Welcome to today's exercise routine. And what I'd say it's not necessarily an exercise routine. It is going to be going through two different forms on energy chi today. So I'm going to be breaking some of the forms down, some of the, the functions of that form, and I'm going to be showing you two of those where simultaneously we do them back to back. And it is going to be part in the wild horse's mane into white crane flashes wings. And I'm going to try to hopefully slow it down enough to show you that transition. And I am your host, Jesse Sawyer, nationally recognized inclusive fitness trainer, silver sneaker flex instructor. And you can find out more about me. Visit my website at www.jessieswear.com. The other thing is I have the camera in a different direction today. So hopefully it's picking me up pretty decently and you're able to follow along as I break these two moves down. Now, if you have any lightheadedness, pain, dizziness, discomfort, or fatigue, hit the pause. The other thing is you always want to subscribe to this channel and like it, um, share it, and invite other friends to take this as I work on breaking some of those forms and formats down of Silver Sneakers Energy Chi. So let's go to that first one. That first one is that part in the Wild Horse's Mane. This is in an L stance. So you want to be in a crescent moon rotation. So when we do our crescent moon rotation, remember we take those hands out, they're like this, but we're going to take that right underneath that left. And you're just going to relax those shoulders. All right, I'm going to be in that horse stance natural when I take off from the first, but then we're going into an empty stance. And then we're going to go into that right side L stance, heels line up. And then your transition is almost like a deck of cards. You're taking this right hand out, left hand down. So you see that they're all in an arch position or not fully extended position, 68 degrees of extension. And then you're just going to roll and circle, play that card, lean and reach and circle. So it's a nice inhalation, exhalation. Inhalation, exhalation. And this is where you part the wild horse's mane. You're taking that hand up in that arch and then you're driving that hand down and parting that wild horse's mane. So think about a horse or even a little doggy and you're just circling that arm around. So out, reach and shift back. So it's a nice inhalation with a shift and then your exhalation. And then we wanna transition right into the other side and then into that other exercise. So again, part in the wild horse's mane and then you get your transition. So how do you transition to the other side? So here's how we transition to the other side. You have to drag that foot back. So as I part the wild horse's mane, I drag that foot back to the center. I get into that crescent moon rotation. I circle those hands and I go into my right side empty out. And now I step into that L stance, feet are lined up. And now I go to the left side, drag, circle. So again, you're into that hold right here and this position down here into that pocket reach circle through. So I go to my left side, almost stopping it and dragging it. Nice, good circle. So almost that stop sign, circle. And hopefully at home, this is allowing you to get the motion, lean towards your left, right hand down to the pocket, not fully extended. Left hand's not fully extended either. It's in this position. Part that wild horse's mane. Pet that doggy and then circle it through, right? So you're just taking that arch out and then down. And then how do you transition again, right? Because we want to go into that circle of breath or not that circle of breath, but we want to go into... <laughs> That, that white crane flashes wings as I move a little faster through this motion. And we can slow it down and now cycle it through, right? 
and now you're in to that white crane flash's wings and lift up. Now, at home, you don't have to lift. You can just lift the toe up. Again, because you're just kind of working on that balance and you're just circling them through. So it's just a circle through. And as you can see, I'm not overreaching and I'm keeping my hands in that arch or angle position the whole time as I circle through. So I'm not overextending. I'm not, when I say overextending, I'm not going nice and wide with them and nice and high. I'm keeping them where they don't go higher than shoulder height. Look at that, they come right through. Lift, circle, or if I lift up my leg, and whichever leg lifts up, that's where you're taking that left hand, lift up, and lift up that left leg. And push down. So it's like this, and then you're taking that right hand and you're pushing that left leg down. Push that left leg down. There you got it, right? And then your transition is back into that crescent moon rotation, and now you're gonna take that right leg up and push with that left hand down. So as that right leg goes up, that left hand pushes it down, cycle it through, you got it, awesome job. All right, now, we're not done. We're gonna run through that one more time each one, and we're just gonna make it nice and smooth. So we start in that horse stance. We just came off one of those forms or formats, and now we'll just say, let's get us ourselves in a crescent moon rotation, left over right, nice and tall, tuck the belly, tuck the tailbone, chest out, shoulders up, back and down, and now you have to shift your weight, empty out towards that left side, go into an L stance, into the right side, and then you're gonna keep them, Part the wild horse's mane. So nice inhalation, nice exhalation. Circle those hands. And now you want to go into a transition, right? So we want to go into the other side. So you have to circle crescent moon, empty out into that right side, half step, and now part the wild horse's mane to the other side. Now we're going to that left side. Deck of cards, shift it. So you're shifting, nice inhale, exhale. And you can see those hands, they come around like that. And now we want to go in to that white crane flashes wings. So how do we transition into that? You just transition all the way back into that center. And now you're going to just take that left and push down with that right. Lift up the left, push down with the right. And now you got to get to the other side. So we'll go to the other side on the next round through. Hopefully you're enjoying this today with me. Now you go back into that horse stance and now you just circle and transition right into it. See how I just transitioned right into that motion and you're just working on that balance. And then if you can start transitioning moves like this together, Part in the wild horse's mane, white crane flashes wings, then it allows you to take your energy chi experience to a new level. Go in peace, my friends. Enjoy your day, and hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial and a slowdown version, although it was a lengthy slowdown version with me, your host, Jesse Swear. And look for more episodes just like this by subscribing to this channel.